In this video, my trusty assistants Cadence and Kindle will demonstrate the different methods of sampling. The most basic type of sampling is a simple random sample. Consider this population of Skittles. Taking a simple random sample, SRS for short, is equivalent to putting all the Skittles in a big bowl, mixing them up really well, and drawing from the bowl. In a simple random sample, all samples have an equal chance of being selected. Second is systematic sampling. In a systematic sample, we use a random method to select the first individual, then we sample on a fixed interval after that. If my interval was five, I could use a dice to determine which skittle I was going to start on. If the dice came up with the number three, I would start with the third skittle, then I would sample every fifth skittle after that. Third is stratified sampling. In a stratified sample, we first take the population and separate it into groups of like individuals called strata. This would be like sorting our skittles into colors. Then, we take a simple random sample from each strata. So, we would take a simple random sample of orange, another separate simple random sample of yellow, and so on. Then, we would combine all of our samples to form the complete sample. Fourth is cluster sampling. A cluster is a group of individuals. Clusters are similar to each other, but individuals in a cluster may not be similar. For the Skittles, clusters would be like fun size bags. Fun size bags are pretty similar to each other, but within the fun size bag, there are many different colors. With cluster sampling, we take a random sample of clusters rather than individuals. In our Skittle example, this would be like putting all the fun size bags in a bowl and randomly selecting fun size bags. If a cluster is selected, all individuals in that cluster would be in the final sample. Clusters are different from strata. In a strata, individuals in the strata were the same, but strata were different from each other. Clusters are the reverse. Individuals in the cluster may be different, but clusters are similar to each other. The last type of sampling is a convenient sample. In a convenient sample, no random method is used. Instead, we sample individuals who are the easiest to reach, or eat in this case. Now it's your turn. How are you gonna go sample the rainbow?